What do we think about this hairstyle? Are we gonna say yes? Are we gonna say no? Okay, so today I have a very much of a different video. Sorry, the bean truck is um, is pulling in at this very moment. So don't we all love that? Okay, so today I am armed with my laptop and I think that that can only mean one thing. Amwin means business today. Like she means business today. She has her laptop and everything. So, okay, basically guys, I wanted to film this little video for you today as a, a warning really, a warning, like a PSA. I just thought it was a good opportunity to just remind everyone that, you know, there are scammers out there. They're out there, they're hunting. They are trying their best to hack into your systems, to steal your bank accounts. Well, not to steal the bank accounts, to steal all the money from your bank accounts. They're just really like nefarious bad people out there. And they use a multitude of different ways. Many of them are quite clever and cunning in order to try and scam us. And I almost fell, fell victim to this in the past week. And I just felt like it was maybe a a good time to talk about internet security. I know I didn't like, but I just thought, you know what, if this is potentially like something that's happened to me, this could definitely happen to one of you guys. And I just thought I couldn't really like let this go by without kind of saying something because I just wanted you to be aware as to how savvy these hackers, scammers, like whatever they are, how kind of clever and cunning that they can actually be. They are sneaky motherfuckers, let me tell you that. So basically, uh, this all started last week. And oh, by the way, I'll just let you know why I've got my, I've just got my laptop here because I've downloaded, well, I've not downloaded, oh my gosh, because that really exposed me to the potential virus. But I sent myself screenshots of the email correspondence that I had with these scammers. We're gonna just call them the feckers right they're the feckers so i um yeah i've got all the screenshots here on my laptop i just thought that was like the easiest way to kind of read them out to you but i will also be i'll pop them up on the screen here so that you can also kind of read them uh, yourself too but essentially this was a scam it was a scam that was um pretending to be a kind of video collaboration slash PR kind of opportunity. This actually came from Dolls Kill. Now, I must be clear, no affiliation to the actual fabulous, iconic, legendary Dolls Kill. This is a scamming organisation who are... I don't know if it was, like, really, like, specifically targeted to me exactly, because I, I, I don't think it was, because I feel like they would have had to do a hell of a lot of, like you know, looking into me to find out, like, what does I want like, what does she not, because I feel like Dolls Kill is quite a, it's kind of, kind of quite a niche um, brand, really. I, I know it's very popular, but I feel like something like maybe Zara, um, H&M, Topshop, um, even, like, if you think TK Maxx, you know, there's, there's lots of other brands that are a bit more, like, widely popular than, like, Dolls Kill. Uh, Dolls Kill, I would still kind of consider a bit indie, even though they are very popular. If that makes any sense, it's just a bit niche. So for these scammers to have been able to just guess that Dolls Kill probably, like, if I, out of all the clothing brands in the world or websites that sell clothes, Dolls Kill would be the one that I would most want to you know, get a shitload of their clothes for free and just flounce about in them for a video. Like, that that would be the brand. So I don't know if these scammers actually would have guessed that or maybe they just had a quick scam through my Instagram and that, that was, like, the vibes I was kind of putting out into the world. Maybe they just simply checked who I was following on Instagram and they saw that I follow Dolls Kill and they were like, oh, she's obviously, like, a crazy Dolls Kill girl. So we're going to pretend to be Dolls Kill and we're going to try you know, catch her like that. So, okay, so I'm just gonna read out the first email that I received and I just have to preference this by saying, like, this is my disclaimer. When I very first received this, I did not believe it. Like, I live by the motto, if it seems too good to be true, it usually is. And I, I like, I feel like no other event in my life has really kind of, you know, summed up and made me feel so good about that 
that saying as this whole potential incident right here. Basically, right, at first I kind of, I'm just gonna read you out the first email and then I'll tell you what I thought. Oh, me being as fabulously organized as I, I am, Okay, I've got it. Okay, shit. God, it's a wonder how I get through the day, isn't it? But if only the hackers knew that this is me, just what I so unorganised. Right, okay, so the first email I received from them, it said, hey, love, and by the way, and I will put the screenshots here, but you will see that it's it looks like it's come from Dolls Kill. Because, um, you know, like when you see, like, the sender name, it says Dolls Kill. So it made me think, this is definitely from Dolls Kill. I mean, and it had a little red love heart. So I just thought, Dolls Killer emailing me, wow. So it says, hey love, hey love. You have been selected by our Dolls Kill team for a YouTube try on haul featuring our newest collection. Now, literally at this point, I was just like, oh my gosh, like this is my dream, like my literal dream. Like, oh my God, this is my moment. Like I've made it, I have made it. We invite you to collect Oh, it just says we invite you to. Okay, oh, see now, now I'm looking back. I'm thinking that makes no sense. There are other grammatical issues in here as well, which I did choose to kind of overlook a little bit, maybe at the time, whilst I was still not 100% convinced it was a scam. But I see them clear as day now. We invite you to collect your order yourself from the things that have not been released to the public from our new catalogue. We will give you the opportunity to get acquainted with the new products and get what you want. Again, like would, would a professional outlet say, get what you want? I don't think they would. Of course, it will be a gift from us. So yeah, oh, I'm, do you know what? I'm fucking rereading this now and I'm just thinking, how could I at any point have thought this could have had an ounce of, you know, real reality to it how i mean oh my gosh it's just sometimes you know what you sometimes miss the things you want to miss you know you only pick out from things what you want to see like is that, is that confirmation bias i don't know if that is but it says here is what we need for this club uh, are you and this is a bullet pointed list a youtube try on haul include a link in description box to our site include dolls kill in title of video include dolls kill in the hashtag line please let me know if you're interested in this offer so that we can discuss with you the price for such a promotional video the timing the blah 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 we wish you a good day okay so this was like the first very first email that was sent to me and of course like I was thinking this is too good to be true but then I was thinking but could it be real because it's come from Dolls Kill and I clicked on where it said Dolls Kill you know to see the actual email address and the actual email because by the way this this is famed to be from a lady called Juliet Hartman right Juliet fucking Hartman if you're called Juliet Hartman I love your name but th there's some scammers out there using your name they probably scammed it from you if they've somehow stolen your identity along the way somewhere but the email address was juliet hartman at dollskill.host so again i was thinking mm, at dollskill.host mm, i was thinking well oh, that sounds legit sounds like legit i kind of didn't think too much about that host thing i was just thinking dolls kill but anyway so i responded initially thinking if it's too good to be true it usually is this is definitely a scam why would dolls kill be interested in me like there's no way they'd be interested in me i'm almost 40 i'm not particularly good looking i don't have a lot of followers my engagement isn't amazing like why would they want me to be the person that they pick to try on their clothes like i i'm not a model i don't have have a special dance I do in front of the camera. I can really showcase their clothes in a magnificent way. So yeah, all of that, those thoughts were definitely running through my mind. But also another thought was uh, running through my mind, which was saying, but what if it's real? This could be your moment. So I, of course, I replied because I thought, well, what's the harm in replying? I'm not going to sign up to anything. I'm not going to send them my bank details or open any attachments or anything. So I replied and then I just said something like, yeah, I, I mean, something like, yes, I would love to. I love Dolls Kill. Dolls Kill, my favourite website how did you know like really um anyway so they re then replied immediately like we're talking within 10 minutes of me hitting send this reply came in i've never received an email oh, hey girlfriend how's it going anyway thank you for the answer what would be the price for such a try on haul promotional video this is peppered with uh, grammatical errors i don't know like have you trumped did you trump as you were flying on top to my chair
Oh my gosh, anyway, sorry, yeah, loads of grammatical errors in this that I just chose to completely ignore. It says, I want to tell you about payment and other nuances. To get started, we need to send you our catalogue for a computer. Now, this is where the red flags really started to go off at this point, because I'm thinking to myself, and this is even overlooking the grammatical errors, I'm thinking to myself, why would they want to send me like a catalogue? Like, why? What's all this talk about a catalogue? And I, and I appreciate that in the first email they were saying like they won't try their new new release or new soon to be not even released yet, releasing at some point in the distant future. They they wanted to like me to try the new releases on. But now in this reply, they say they want to send me a catalogue for my computer so that you can get acquainted with the new and old collections. Again, another major red flag. Why would any brand want to send you old collections? You know what I mean? If you're paying someone to like, to do a, a promotional video or to like show off your clothes, you want them to really be new new releases. You wouldn't want anyone to, to be like showing off old collections that have probably been on at 10 flash sales at this point and you know nobody buying that shit and you're about to just like burn it outside you know your head office. So that that really was another thing that made me think mm, that does not make any sense but still I had this nugget of hope. I did. I did. So then it says, you can choose what you like. So they'll send me the catalogue. I could choose what I like. Oh, shopping spree. And uh, the total cost of things should be around $1,000. After you select everything you need, you'll need to send us the ID of the items, delivery address, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'll put it here so that you can read it. But the other aspect of this, um, because there was nothing to egregious in it other than the numerous typos wanted to send me the catalogue featuring their old collections and you just wanted to send me catalogue in general and the fact that they were kind of reaching out in general it, they talk about they want to send me over a contract so that i can read through the contract and sign it why, why do you need to be signing a contract for trying on some clothes and i get it i mean i well i don't get it actually because i've never done like a sponsorship or pr thing i've never done it like i've never i've never been like the Julie Roberts in Pretty Woman, where a brand has said, yeah, spend a thousand pounds, it's fine. Just pick whatever you want, pick it. And then, you know, we'll um, we'll pay you. I, I don't have any experience, knowledge. I have no, no idea about how these PR contracts work or anything. But it just says, um, yeah, so they won't sign a contract. Uh, and it says, please let me know if this type of cooperation suits you. If you have any further questions, if you're ready to move further in our cooperation, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Yeah, if you want to move forward in our cooperation, tell me about it. Like, that's how I can hear that being said in my head. Then tell me about it. Do you know what I mean? Also, one another thing, like a bit of a red flag, and this is something that I would urge you to try and remember, like, if... If you ever get emails and they're claiming to be from like an American or UK brand, but yet they're using words like cooperation uh, or even over overusing and misspelling the word collaboration. Because I do find that, you know, I have had lots of interactions with like Chinese, like Eastern uh, brands, and they always use the word cooperation in place of collaboration. And I feel like it's a very like, cooperation is kind of like collaboration but not and it's definitely like in the western world we wouldn't really use the word cooperation meaning a collaboration if that makes sense so it's kind of like they've almost got the word correct but no they were like so close but yet so far and they're making it really easy for us savvy girls and guys to really identify that they're a fraud because that was another thing that made me think mm, is this really coming from Dolls Kill who I looked up they're based in America I don't think they would be using using like words such as cooperation do you know what I mean and I don't think they definitely wouldn't be saying please let me know about it do you know what I mean but anyway it just says if you're ready to move further right tell me about it and I will send you contract with catalogue for PC and now this is like the major red flag. And this was the point where I thought this is a fecking scam. But I didn't think it straight away. No, 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 no. 
It was a few hours later that I actually faced facts and said, that's a fucking scam. Hey, why would they really need to be sending me a catalogue? And if they really, really did need to send me a catalogue so that I could pick out which items I wanted to try on, surely that catalogue could be sent as a PDF, a Word, it could be put into a Google Drive um, and transferred that way. It could, I mean, it could be accepted by a Mac, by a Windows, by an Android, by an iPhone, by... Do you know what I mean? Any kind of mobile device. Why, 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 why are you so insistent that in this day and age, your catalogue can only be opened by Windows, right? And it was at that point, well, not at that point, it was like five hours later that I realised, fecking scam. I just, it's a fecking scam. So anyway, right, so that happened and I spoke to my dad and I spoke to Honey's about it and they were saying, look, yeah, it sounds a bit dodge, honestly. Oh, I'm fast forwarding a bit, but anyway, they were, my dad and my honeys were like, why don't you DM a doll's kill on Instagram? And then you can just ask them, is this the kind of email you would send out? Do you have a Julia Hartman that works for you? Do you have a catalogue? What is this fucking catalogue that will only open on Windows? So anyway, but I'm gonna just circle back to that in a minute. We're circling away from that. We'll be back in a minute. It was at this point, obviously, like five hours later, that I was thinking to myself, yeah, it's a fecking scam. So then I I, I wanted to go along with it a bit because I was in a bit of a mischievous, cheeky mood. So I thought, I'm going to just go along with this a bit. You know what I mean? So I replied back and I said, oh, great. I would love to see your catalogue. I cannot wait to review it. Um, but first, like, I will need to see a copy of the contract. And secondly, uh, just to mention that I do not have a Windows operating system. I only have my iPhone or a Mac PC. So could you just send the catalogue as, as an alternate? kind of format so that I can open it uh, on anything but Windows and I was really interested to see like would they reply what would the reply be four days went past I didn't receive a reply and again that's very telling because when I initially replied like to their first email oh my gosh lightning fast I got a reply back from them and then to the second email got a reply back but then to this one where I'm saying to them I'm not gonna be able to open your fucking virusy catalog honestly Oh, all of a sudden, oh, there's, there's silence. There is tumbleweed going past. There's nothing. So it was at this point that I thought, right, I'm going to just run this by Dolls Kill. So I sent Dolls Kill a DM on their official Instagram and I just sent um, screenshots of all of these um, emails that I'd received from Dolls Kill, right? So I just said, you know, it, would these emails that have actually come from Dolls Kill, I am pretty much 100% sure that this is a scam, but I just wanted to run it by you, A, to confirm 100%, but because I still had an inkling of hope. I was still thinking maybe it's real, maybe it is, maybe this catalogue is not the virus-y and well, you know, I can have a thousand dollars worth of dolls kill items to prance about in, because I don't need to kind of talk my kids at this point, because back, you know, before the the penny dropped in my mind. I was thinking, oh, dolls kill. And I told my kids and they were so excited. They were like, are you going to be famous? I said, yes. And anyway, so so I said, A, I just want to confirm. But B, also I want you to be aware that there's scammers that are using your name very convincingly. Well, not convincingly. Convincingly in the sense that when they sent the email, it said dolls kill. But everything else about it, not convincing at all. But I, I wanted to make them aware and actually what I was hoping for was that they would maybe post a PSA on their Instagram page to say, hey, just to let you know, we've been made aware of this one scamming attempt and we want to let all of our beloved followers know that if you receive an email claiming to be from us, it is not. And the, um, I don't know who she is, the Dolls Kill rep, she sounded very nice, very friendly. She replied back literally within a couple of minutes and she said hey no sorry it's definitely not from us they would only send out um like communications either uh, via a dm on instagram or there was another way but i cannot remember it oh my gosh yeah dm on instagram there was another way but i'm gonna put the screenshot of her reply on there anyway she didn't really mention anything about letting anyone know and you know kind of publicizing that there was a you know, a potential like 
hacking incident that had happened but I'll just you know I that's for her to deal with I've let her know I've done my bit it was just like if it were me and I was like if, if it were, were my business or business I was working for I would really be pushing to publicize to my followers and you know my fans and anyone that supports me I would really want them to just be made aware that though that this had happened and just to be on your guard you know to be extra vigilant because I know how easy it is like I know like I know how easy it is to get so carried away even when you know you've completed multiple modules of, of um, online security training from your workplace I'm for quite savvy I don't think you know she's not I am quite savvy honestly when it comes to like internet stuff like I get a lot of emails every day like just and I'm not bragging like I'm definitely not being braggadocious here but I get lots of emails from different like mainly like coloured eye contact brands and like hair extension brands and um just like in more like unknown brands let's say <laughs> because I'm not I'm not a big you know influencer I'm not even an influencer I'm just no one so I just get these like from random places and I'm just always like so wary I'm wary of everything and I yeah I always believe that you've got to just check cross check just check again and then cross check again and then just do a whole new check then get your dad to check then get your honeys to check you know just just really make sure that something is actually genuine before you kind of jump head first in so anyway so I I now had the confirmation that I was looking for yes I'm Winator this is this is a scam they were trying to get you to download their catalogue onto a window system, which by the way, right, and this is a terrifying thought, say if I, I wasn't vigilant or didn't think to question it, like say if I'd actually just taken it as I read it, they would have sent me the catalogue because I don't have a window system other than my work laptop, right? I would have, I would have just forwarded the catalogue email to my work, um, email I would have opened it on our work servers probably taken down the entire company and could you imagine how embarrassing that would have been so I think it just goes to show that you, you have to be so vigilant by the way I do not recommend opening any private or personal documents or attachments on your work work devices I would not and I've never ever done it I just have to say that as a this is something I'm saying and never do I never do that myself so okay right so anyway the final part right is just I I just wanted to have a bit of fun you know I was, I was feeling equally mischievous to these scammers and I just wanted to play with them a little bit I wanted Juliet Hartman to just feel for even just a second that same level of excitement that I felt if just for a second or well, a few Set. well it was a bit longer than that before I, the penny dropped and I faced reality but I wanted her to go through that roller coaster of emotions <gasps> oh my gosh I've got my what this is my dream and then all of a sudden for everything to come crashing down when you realize no no that's not happening and keep in mind I had not heard at all from Juliet Hartman since I sent the reply back to her where I said that I didn't have a window system in which to open up her catalogue so and it had gone quiet she just moved on to someone else at this point so right so right I know it's a scam so I'm thinking right I'm just gonna I'm playing now this is just some cheeky fun for me so I emailed her basically right I said to her I said hey Juliet guess what I have managed to get authorization from my employer to be able to use their Windows operating system to download your catalog. So please send it on over and I will open it straight away. Also, please could you send me your contract as well so that I can get that signed and returned back to you. And then I just thought, I'm gonna have a bit of fun. There were loads of fucking typos in her emails. She hadn't even bothered to spell check. I thought, well, I'm not going to either. So I made a conscious effort uh, to do a few typos. And I, when I said, I said, all the breast. And when and I just thought, yeah, fuck this. I'm playing around with it now. You, you're fucking with me. I'm gonna fuck with you back. So I said, all the breast, 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 all the breast. So anyway, so like literally again, immediately. Oh, immediately, Juliet's all of a sudden replying back to her lightning speed. We had got so accustomed to back when she thought there was still a chance I was gonna fall for the scam. She replied back. She said, oh, that's great. 
right and she sent me over an email so she said to me she said thanks for the answer she said attached to the letter a contract with the catalog and further actions please write to me after reviewing and after installing our catalog ah, i just don't know how they could type this and send it to someone uh, and know that if this person actually did open it like if you believe that this was genuine you could literally destroy someone's whole life i just wonder like who is behind this like i want to see their fecking face i want to actually punch them in their face and i'm not a violent person i'm very easy going i'm a pacifist i don't agree with violence in any way shape or form Unless it's towards a scammer, honestly. But he says, so that I can help you if necessary. Catalogue of works only... Oh, again. Again. Here she has to reiterate. Catalogue of works only on computers with Windows operating system. Yeah, we freaking get it, Juliet. You want to infect Windows operating systems, don't you? Because that's what your freaking virus is designed to do. Not today, girl, not today. And she also sent me a the contract, which was literally like, that. that's the contract. Like at this point, because I think they've never really got so far as to actually need to send the contract. I'm, I'm sure that she just typed this up in like, I don't know, like maybe like two minutes. What the feck is this? Now, this is not even in Dolls Kill branding or anything. And the pictures, like when have you ever seen any like shitty old clothes like that on Dolls Kill? No, no, if you're going to do a scam, follow me through till the end. Oh my gosh, make sure that the contract is actually representing Doll's Kill. Oh my gosh, you could lose one right the last minute, Juliet. Seriously. Oh, I don't know if I replied at this point, but I was kind of thinking to myself that I was going to reply. And this is, I like, I, honestly, I think that's it. I'm done. I, I'm not going to waste any more time on them. And also, I got a bit paranoid thinking, could I actually get some kind of virus just by, like, emailing back and forth? Could I catch it? Do you know what I mean? Is it transmissible still, even if I don't open the catalogue? It all was a bit, like, making me feel a bit disturbed. So, but I did have an idea to just reply and say, say, hey, thanks so much. I'm going to be opening this. Um, but I'm not going to be able to do it till later because, unfortunately, my mum died today. So it's a really sad day. But do you know what? I am so excited about opening your catalogue and actually doing this cooperation. I, I It's the only thing keeping me going, honestly, and I just cannot wait. Because I wanted to do that just to see, would they have any sense of humanity? And actually reply and say, no, don't do it, it's a fucking scam. We're trying to affect your fucking life. But do you know what? I know they, they wouldn't think that because at the end of the day, they're inhumane. They're just absolute tosser wanker dick shitheads assholes you in the twats on a i would rather kick them into the oblivion and down a drain and just assholes so there's no point me wasting any more time on them i hope that you've oh wow well, i'm close to my laptop as if it's like oh there we go my day is done no the day is not done oh my gosh i'm filming this on my lunch break just in case you were wondering my day is not done oh my gosh yeah i really really just wanted to bring this to your attention i know that i mentioned that i really wanted dolls kill to like put out like a psa or something on their instagram or website or just you know hire a billboard dolls kill publicize this shit i know i wanted them to do it and i don't think they did i mean i'm not checked today or anything but the last time i checked they hadn't put anything out and i just thought well if i'm asking them to do it i need to be doing this as well i need to be letting people know because honestly like i like i said i've received lots of emails that just look scammy like they have scammy written all over them you know you can almost smell the smell of like ooh, disgusting scam coming through the screen at you when you read their email but this one was a bit different just because it as i said it was from doll scale a little bit more of like a indie niche nuanced kind of brand the thing that really got me i suppose was it just said doll scale and i was like oh yeah okay that that seems correct you know what i mean but yeah so i just wanted to like 
make you all very aware of this i'm sure you are i know that you guys are streetwise and savvy and intelligent so i am absolutely sure that you know you're all like always on your guard anyway for these kind of things so i don't want to be in any way like patronizing i'm not in any way like assuming that you don't know about this stuff but i just wanted to bring make a point of saying it because scams can come in all different forms if anything like just doesn't seem quite right in an email that someone sent you or text that someone sent you if the wording's just slightly not correct or you know the spelling is all over the place or they're using terms that would be more associated maybe with an e like i'm not saying all scams come from the east because i'm definitely not going to dig that fucking hole for myself and i don't believe that obviously but yeah, if something just doesn't sit right in your gut or you're having to like try and justify something or, you know, you're trying to like win yourself over with something or you're trying to say, no, of course this is fine, then there's probably something not quite right with it. Like always trust your instincts. If something seems too good to be true, it, in my experience, usually is. And even if it is true, well, it's not going to do you any harm just to take a few steps back and, you know, double check it get people who you you know love and uh, respect and and trust get the, them to like look over it see what their opinions are i just think that we live in a world unfortunately where there's so many scams about everyone out there not everyone there's feckers out there who not and i definitely think there's more good people than bad in the world but unfortunately there are a lot of like bad people who just act nefariously and um do you know what i've always wanted to use the word nefarious like properly like in a, a sentence i've never really been able to do it before particularly not on my youtube channel i've thrown it out a couple of times at work just like nefarious nefarious and i feel like such a don like a queen but anyway um yeah i think it sums up perfectly the scammers they're nefarious characters and um they they will stop at nothing to get your identity your money your bank account your uh dog your fucking cat anyway i feel like i've covered everything i i hope i put all the screenshots in in the correct places so that you could actually see everything as it as i saw it and um, anyway i am gonna go but please stay really safe out there on the internet guys and um thank you for watching and i hope to see you in my next video which hopefully won't be about an attempt to scam me. So anyway, okay, bye guys.